if you would have asked me two or three months ago if I was getting vaccinated, the answer would have been... Hey teacher friends, welcome to Sutton Teacher Secondary. I'm Miss Sutton, but you can call me Marquita. And welcome, because we are talking about the topic that everyone is thinking about and talking about and concerned about, and that is vaccinations. So, y'all, if you would have asked me two or three months ago if I was getting vaccinated, the answer would have been no, mm -mm, no way, not going to happen. But y'all, I went and got my second vaccination a day or two ago. So let me tell you what I was considering and why I made this choice. And hopefully my feedback and my experience will help you in when whatever you are considering and doing. So if you do not know already, I live, work, thrive, am, teach in Southern California. Now, Southern California was one of the hardest hit areas in the United States. And so our numbers were really high our um, case numbers of COVID-19. We have been on the slow end of transitioning back to hybrid. So I honestly did not think that within this school year, we would be having hybrid. However, things have recently changed. And so once things started changing towards us moving to a hybrid existence or teaching model before the school year was over, it made me really start thinking differently about the vaccine. So once that started to happen, I really started thinking about a few other things. One, the area that I teach in, the numbers are just really high. And we've had a high number of students whose families have been affected with COVID. Like it, it's been pretty bad, y'all. And so thinking about the fact that I might possibly be back on our campus, that I might be around more people, like I wouldn't be at home quarantining in my own little space anymore. Also just thinking about um, the number of cases just in our area in general, it really started making me reconsider how I could keep myself safe and what that meant for me and also how I could keep my family safe, right? I don't want to, I don't, I don't want to put myself in a position to where I could possibly infect the people that I live with. So the other thing I had to really do was talk to my family. And so after talking to my family and just reconsidering some things and thinking through life, I decided it was best for me to get the vaccine. So I did the two dose Moderna vaccine and I'm actually really happy I did the Moderna. I am not someone who normally gets any kind of flu vaccine. Like I am not the person who normally gets the flu shot every year. I'm not that person. I'd rather just drink water, stay really, you know, stay really hydrated, take lots of vitamin C and Lysol all flu season then get the flu shot and I normally don't get the flu so for me I was a little worried that I might be having reaction to the vaccine so I felt like the two shot might be a little bit better for me because I've heard um that the Johnson & Johnson has had more severe effects that's just been my experience and what I've heard I don't know personally that's just what I've heard so Moderna, two shot. And then I also chose to do it at CVS. And I chose CVS just simply that's who I'm used to going to for my, that's my normal pharmacy. And I just kind of like the way CVS operates. And I was actually really happy that I made that choice because it was a pretty seamless process. I think the only thing that was a headache was the registration online, like putting in all of my insurance information and all of that kind of stuff. But once you get through that, it's pretty simple. Like I showed up on time, they took me in, it took a few minutes, I got my shot. They have you wait to make sure you're safe and that you're not leaving and feeling really terrible. And then that's it. And everyone was very nice. Um, the people that were getting their shots were really nice. The people that were there working were incredibly nice. It's really wonderful just to feel that community feel again and just feel like people are like rallying around something and feeling like we're in this together, like this sense of solidarity. It was very nice and quite refreshing. Also, after I got my second shot, wait for it I got a coupon what my favorite things because I, I love to shop so we get you got a coup I got a coupon to spend at CVS after I got my second shot which is nice 
So if you're doing yours at CVS, look forward to this. Hey. Um, and I think I have like, I have a good while to spend it like until July or something like that. It's just like a thank you for going to CVS to get my shot. I also didn't want to go to a big mass vaccination location just because I, I don't feel comfortable with that. And so CVS was nice because it felt smaller and just more personal. And that's, that's what I usually like. And it felt good for me and it actually really worked. Now, as far as effects go, I am very happy to say that I did not have any adverse effects. When I talked to my doctor about it, she said that when she got hers, after the second shot, she was feeling quite lethargic and she had, she took it on the weekend and which was good for her because she was kind of knocked out the whole weekend. Like she really wasn't doing much. She felt pretty tired and, and had to rest the whole weekend. I did not have that problem, not gonna lie. Now, with both shots, my arm hurt terribly. And I will say with the second shot, my arm hurt even more. And I had, I definitely had, it wasn't an allergic reaction, but it it felt almost bruised, which is funny because when she actually, and I'm, I'm rubbing it because it still kind of hurts, um, which is funny because the second shot, I didn't feel it. It, it. She did it and I barely even felt that she poked me. But the next day, my arm was hurting. And then even now, there's still like a little bit of a lump. Um, and it's still kind of red, like you could, like you know, as, as if it was bruised or something. And it's and it's very clearly more in it is very clearly swollen. That's the word. It's swollen in comparison to this shoulder. So that's something to think about. I will say that I scheduled it on a weekend, and I scheduled it to where I would not have anything going on. So when I got my second shot. The next day, I planned to not do anything, and I actually didn't even need it. Like, I woke up, and I was fine, and everything was great. I did not come straight home after my shot. Like, I did some a little bit of running errands. I came home and did a little bit of housework. Um, I was feeling, I felt like I was starting to feel a little like something was coming. But you know how you have that moment of something's coming. I might not be feeling good, and you have two options. You're like, I could either lay down and admit defeat or I can fight and I felt like I was in that moment after my second shot and I was like no we are going to fight so I had lots of water and I ate a pretty healthy balanced meal I did some moving around the house nothing too strenuous but enough to keep me moving and then it kind of like that feeling kind of went away it worked out for me so that is basically it. I am quite surprised and quite happy. I really hope that the vaccine works. <laughs> That's the most important thing, right? I do not want to start back um, teaching or being around other people and I guess they can die. That that would not be fun. Even if I don't die, just being really sick, it's, it's pretty terrible. I, so I'm, I'm really hoping that the vaccine works. I'm also hoping that there are no long-term or adverse effects. And of course, we won't know this in, until it's been years to come. So I'm really hoping that there's nothing um, based on the research that I've done and just the science behind it. I'm, I'm really hoping so. Um, but yeah, so far, so good. So we will roll from there. I just want to remind you that you need to do whatever is good for you. I am not a scientist. I am not a doctor. I am not even a science teacher. So I am not giving you any medical advice. I just wanted to share my experience with you just so you know what is what happened with me. And, and then you can use that as a guide to help you on your journey to decide what is best for you. Because at the end of the day, you have to do what is going to be great for you and your family and all of those things, right? Like what is going to be best for you and how you feel. And also keep in mind that you are able to change your mind. Like I said before, I was a hard pass out. This was not going to happen. And then things change, circumstances change, situations change, and then my opinion changed and my, my thoughts about it changed. And that's okay. And it's okay for that to happen to you as well. So, um, I hope this helped and that you feel a bit more informed on your journey to make a decision. 
And I, now that you are here, be your teacher friends. So go on and watch this video. You know you want to. You know you want to. It's gonna help you with your planning or it's just gonna be fun and we can talk about teacher stuff and be teacher friends. Make sure you also hit that like button if you found this video helpful. And then make sure you subscribe because you do not want to miss out on any content. I am uploading weekly and you don't want to miss it. You wanna be updated whenever something comes out. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. Remember as always, you are amazing. All right. Thank you.